Hi there and welcome back. It's Lisa with Critters and Ink Designs in Ontario, Canada. If you don't have a demonstrator in Canada, I'd be more than happy to help you out. Just let me know. Today what I'm going to do is just go through the new mini catalog, the January to April mini. So I just thought I'd do a quick run through the calendar and show you what's coming in this month. So it's a great calendar. Calendar, I keep saying calendar. Catalog, it's a catalog. All right, so the first one is Country Floral Lane, and it is so cute. And what I especially love about this is the gingham paper. I love gingham. And so there's the Country Gingham Paper, which is a 6x6. Six six. And then there's a 12x12 12 12 called the Country Floral Lane. And I don't have these yet. They're on my order. And they're part of my paper share. So if you're unfamiliar with uh, paper share... Um, what I do is I purchase all of the papers that are in the entire catalog and then I divide them up uh, into quarter packs and then everybody who signs up for the paper share gets a quarter pack of that particular package of paper so that you end up with a lot of paper but it's a quarter of a package so you can decide whether you like it or not and then if you do like it you can reorder the actual 12 by 12 or the full 6x6 six six package. So the details of that are on my blog at crittersandink.com. You're more than ha uh, welcome to go and check out the different, I have three different packages, so you can check those out. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so if you're interested in that, please let me know. So part of this suite, you can buy the entire suite, which is everything on this page, or you can buy each piece individually. So the stamp set for this is on the next page. Oops. There. Uh, is on the next page. And it's very, very cute. And it has, uh, it, it bundles, the stamp set bundles with a punch. And the punch actually will cut out the heart and the leaves and the little heart of the uh, designer series paper so that's great and then there's a new ribbon pack it's a double pack there's real red and like a craft uh, burlap ribbon and you get two rolls of that and there's five yards of each or 4.6 meters if you're metric uh, in in the little package and then there's also the pastel adhesive back sequins and they're actual like sequins but they have little glue dots on the back and then the other part of this suite is the uh, Love For You bundle. And I'm, gl I'm glad that they've made a change. They now call the stamps and the dies and the bundle the same thing. The, I used to scramble trying to figure out which die set went with which stamp set because they were never named the same thing. And now they are. And I think that's the best idea they've ever had. So this is a two-step stamp uh, set for the flowers. So you would do the first flower and then the second flower. And the same with the leaves. You have the, the base leaf and then the detail leaf. And then in, this, in the um, dies, you can either punch out just the words or you can punch out uh, around the letters. Um, I'm really excited. I can't wait until mine comes. So these are photopolymer. And then on the next page, we have share a milkshake. And to be honest, this hasn't really um, jumped out and said by me, but I'm seeing some really nice uh, cards and projects with this. So my mindset's changing just a little bit. And then there's also some opaque adhesive back gems in uh, Gorgeous Grape, Melon Mambo, Fresh Freesia, and White. And this comes as a bundle as well. You can buy either just a stand, or you can bundle with the uh, dies and save 10%. And then this, these little guys. If you've seen uh, my cat Georgie in some of my videos, um, <clears throat> You can tell I'm partial to black cats and she's a real sweetheart and as soon as I saw this I just knew I had to have it 
So as soon as it became available for me to pre-order, I ordered it. I just love those guys. They are so stinking cute. Our next one is Fancy Flora. And um, it is a beautiful suite. The paper is not 100% my um, jam. It's it's like, a, what do you call it? Like acrylic painting with, with, I don't know, it's just not my thing. But I love the colors. I love the colors. So I can't wait. They look very texturized and they're actually not. They're, they're pictures of actual oil paint. Um, sheets and actually if you go on Stampin' Up! site they do have um, they do have a video on how the artists create the papers when they do uh, this kind of um, oil painting and stuff like that the, the actual take these are actual photographs of actual oil paintings so uh, it's a very interesting video so we have the two-tone flora here which is a two-step stamp and these dies are stunning, and I especially like this one. It's a whole sheet die, a very fine detail die, and that you can buy them individually or as a bundle. And then the Something Fancy uh, bundle is all sentiments, and then you have these tags um, that coordinate with the um, sentiments. And then there's also a fine shimmer paper pack. And then we also have these faceted gems, iridescent pastel gems. And they come in Calypso Coral, Balmy Blue, and Gold. But they're multicolored. Like you can see there with the facets, you get different colors. And then there's a new uh, Pool Party Grow Green ribbon. I love Grow Green ribbon. It's just got so much personality. Okay, our next one is Two-Tone Flora. Oh, we should, this is the one I showed you on the previous page. So this is a, an enlarged picture of it. And you can see here with the double, two, two level stamping, how they fill in the flower with the probably Daffodil Delight on the bottom and then Calypso Coral or something on the top. Isn't that pretty? And then here's a bigger shot of the um, oil painting uh, paper. Very, very pretty. And then this sample looks like it was done with um, white embossing powder, like white heat embossed, and then stamped over top of that. So that's very pretty. These are the dies that you get in the Something Fancy bundle, plus a few extra. That's really pretty. And then our next one is called Lighting the Way. And so the, the ones that have the white background here, these are the ones that have the matching dies in the bundle. And you also have a die to create this lantern, which is very, very cool. So that's very cute. I love the fireflies. And then on this page, we have Spring Blessings. And this is great. I Having two little granddaughters, I think this is just great. And it's got, you know, the two little girls and you've got some swags. Uh, like, I just love this. It reminds me of May Day. Like, you know, dancing around the Maypole or whatever. And then the little bunnies. And then, of course, you have the dragonfly um, little silver metallic type little trinkets that you can glue onto your uh, cards. There's one over here. It's very, very cute. This is called Spring Blessings. And then our next um, bundle is called Fragrant Flowers. Now these flowers are very detailed. So you can see here they've been stamped in black and then colored. And on this side they've been stamped with white heat embossed, uh, heat embossing and then colored. So the options, there's so many options. And then you can see the little detail here with the stamp. Yeah, very, very cute. And then these, these are the three dies. And then these two rectangular dies you also get. Okay, and that's the bundle. Now these ones you can get in cling, which is the red rubber. So when you look at the part numbers here, you can see a C or a P. So C stands for cling, and that's the red rubber. And then the P is for photopolymer, and that's the clear 
um, plus the clear photopolymer stamps like this. So you have a choice. So if you have ones that you prefer, um, then you this in some of the stamp sets in this catalog, you actually have that option. Next we have By the Bay. And I've seen, this is, this is very, very popular. I think this is going to be a big hit this season. And it's uh, like a seaside uh, type theme. And you can either purchase everything in here as a suite. It's available for $120 with its own part number. Or you can buy each piece individually. And this paper will also be part of my paper share. And then the, the flat pearlescent... Um, adhesive back pearls. These are beautiful. And there's a ribbon, the balmy blue and white variegated ribbon. And this is very cute too, with the bird and the little seashells. And this seashell actually cuts out uh, with a, like a score line there and you fold it. It's like a clam. So you could have a two dimensional little clam on your card. Now this one, I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. This is a larger stamp. It's shown at 85%, so you can imagine it's a little bit bigger than this. You can see here it fits on the whole front, probably four by five and a quarter or thereabouts. And so what they've done for the tooling part is they've taken the pierce tool, which is part of your um, take a pick tool, and they've pierced little holes around this part of the uh, design. And, um, and you could, I mean, you could, there's so many different things you could do with this. You can, what, like they did here is you can cut out a bunch of the flowers or you could, uh, you know, and layer them and the same with the leaves. There's just so many options. You can do, you know, fussy cut items, make it layered, do whatever you like. Lots to do with that. I don't think it's my thing, but. For those who are much more creative than me, absolutely go for it. Now, nested friends, this is very cute. Um, I love the fact that this nest has has different elements to it. So you've got the main die will cut out the actual big nest with the leaves and everything. And then there's a second uh, die that will cut out just the top so that you could actually pop the top onto the stamped uh, nest and have like a second dimension of the nest uh, on dimensions so that it's lifted up a little bit. And I always like a stamp set that has these little dots. I find that you can just do so much with them to embellish your background or whatever. And then the little birdie, of course, there's a, a die for her as well. And a bunch of little leaves. So you can add leaves all over the place and some eggs. This is a very cute set, and it's called Nested Friends. And this is a cling stamp set, so this one is red rubber. Now this one, Queen Bee Bundle. When I first saw this, I didn't love it. But there's um, there's a demonstrator, I believe she's in the U.S., and she did a sampler in a frame using this. And, oh, it's stunning. So if you go, it's probably on Instagram. So if you do a search on Instagram for Queen Bee, Stampin' Up uh, Queen Bee, you'll probably see that uh, sampler and it's really, really gorgeous. So it's growing on me. I didn't love it at first, but I'm really starting to like it. And this Silly Goose um, set is adorable. And you have a choice again of the cling or the photopolymer. So whichever one um, you prefer, you, you can definitely choose and this is very cute I think I'm going to order I haven't ordered this one yet but I think I'm going to I think my granddaughters would get a kick out of the little ducks my one granddaughter her dad takes her to uh, Lake Ontario all the time to look at the ducks and the geese and she just thinks it's the greatest thing so on this page we have uh, two new background stamps one is called hand-drawn dots and the other one is um, layered stripes and you can do a lot of different things with the layered stripes. You could do belt. You could do um, like heat embossing, and then use your blending brushes. Uh, you can just, you know, stamp and then color in between. There's so many different things you can do. It's just amazing. And I like what they've done here is they've created like a little bag to gift some ribbon or or stuff like that. Really, really cute. 
And then on this side, there's reversible stamps, which I think is brilliant. And these are photopolymer. And so what you do, like for instance with this turtle, is you would either stamp off or use a lighter shade of ink to stamp the silhouette of the, sur of the uh, turtle. And then take it off your block and flip it over and then do the detail with the opposite side of that particular stamp. And you can do that with the little turtle and this bubble thing, as well as the starfish and the little um, sand dollar as well. Isn't that sweet? So cute. Brilliant idea. Now in this park we have the Regency Park Suite, which is so pretty. I love the little flowery kind of things. And this, um, this paper, oh, I can't wait to get it. It has all these little florals and little dots and things. I'm excited about this. And it's got some adhesive backed milky dots. And they come in Mango Melody, Nida Navy, Petal Pink and White. And then there's the new cane, I don't know if you remember cane chairs, but this embossing folder is like those cane chairs. And then there's a textured 12 by 12 shimmer paper. So I'm excited about that. That'll be in the paper share as well. And then let's flip over here and look at the stamp sets. So the Stamp Petal Park is a two-step stamping set as well. So you can create a bouquet with detail and then also punch out these three flowers and, the le and these leaves will punch out with the punch. So you can buy them separately or you can bundle. Now I don't know if this punch will punch out any of the florals. It doesn't look like it, but I might be wrong. Sometimes a punch, like in a sweet, will punch out the flowers in the designer series paper, but it's not looking like it to me, but I totally could be wrong on that. And then on this side, we have the Sentimental Park Bundle, which I really like. And it's got uh, some beautiful sentiments, and I like the font on there. And then it also has this, I don't know if you can see that frame. I'll bring it up. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I think that's okay. So you can see on those tags, the detail of the floral laciness on two sides of that tag. I'm finally getting the hang of this focusing business. It's taken me long enough. So that's really cute. And um, of course, all of these you can get in English or French. Um, my catalogs are all in English. So if you would prefer a French catalog, I would have to order you one, but I can certainly get them for you. So you can buy these stamps individually, or you can buy the bundle and save $8 if you buy it, if you bundled it. Isn't that cute? Now on this side, there is the on the farm bundle. This is so cute. And this stamps, this bundle actually coordinates with a free paper in the celebration catalog. So everything in this little flyer is free. And this day at the farm designer series paper is free. So if you were to purchase the on the farm bundle, this is free with a $60 purchase and the bundle is $70. So you could automatically get this for free. And it's got little ducks and chicks and vegetables, uh, landscape, little trees. It's just adorable. Really, really cute. So that's free with a $60 purchase. And then, of course, there's, if you bundle it, you get all of these dyes. That Anything that's like a beige color, those are all dyes. And then there's extra ones as well that cut things out of the designer series paper. So that's a bonus. Really cute. Then on this side, I love these dies. I can't wait for mine to come. And it's called Around the Bend. And you can get them in the cling or the photopolymer. And you can, so the, the stamps are $34 and the dies are $45. But if you bundle them, you save $8. So cute. But I just love this. And this too, this one die with the leaves on the corner. Oh, love it. Very, very cute. Next, we have Marigold Moments, 
And actually, I thought these were carnations, but apparently they're marigolds. So you can, I and I really like the font. Now, my mother and my mother-in-law both have passed away, but um, I do have a, a daughter and a stepdaughter who are mothers, so I can use this. And then this one here, you have a heart of gold. And that, I just love that. I know so many people that that would apply to. And then there's your dies. And then this bottom scallop type die is really, really cute. And that's part of the, the die set as well. And then on this side, we have covered in sunshine. And this one, they're just really beautiful sentiments. This one says, may the road ahead of you be brighter than the one behind, lined with wildflowers and covered in sunshine. And then this one says, may the dreams you hold dearest come true and the kindness that you share come back to you. Isn't that sweet? And then this done with like, you know, you can stamp it and then use your blends to create rainbows. It's just adorable. And then here they've created uh, clouds with um, one of the stitch clouds dies. Not sure which one. Oh, beautiful shapes die. Well, the beautiful shapes dies would be this one. I'm not sure where the cloud stitch cloud one comes from. I'll have to look at that. I'm not really sure. And then the enamel dot essentials. They're neutrals. So you got Nida navy, crumb cake, and white. I love enamel dots. I just think they're so pretty. And then this one is called Way to Grow. And you can detail your girl with whichever hair you like. Curly, light, dark, straight, long, short. It's great. And then little flower pots. Way to Grow, it says. Grow through what you go through. I just think that's brilliant. I love that. Hope you're surrounded by friends on your birthday. And that's nice, too. Just love it. And then this is super cute. This is Conversation Bundles, or Bubbles Bundle. And um, so it's got these sentiments, just hello, hi, yay. And then the Conversation Bundles, you can or Bubbles, you can use with anything. You can use them with the little owls that are free, I'll show you in a minute. Or, you know, any of the critters that are in any of the catalogs. Very, very sweet. Over here, we have more gnomes. I just love gnomes. And I found out the other day that these two guys are gnomes. And this is a gonk or a gronk. I can't remember if it's a gonk or a gronk. But the gronk doesn't have eyeballs. And the gnomes do have eyeballs. And these three critters will cut out with the dyes that were available in the winter mini. And we'll be carrying over for the term of this many until April. And then on the next page, we have Lucky Clover. And that's for St. Patrick's Day. And it coordinates with the Lucky Clover Punch. Very cute. Next, we have Delicate Desert. I have to admit, when I first saw this suite, I didn't love it. But I really, really, really like it. Some of the samples that I've seen are stunning. And this metallic, brushed metallic paper is so pretty. And then here we have gold faceted adhesive back sequins. So you have a teardrop, a moon, and two circles. One smaller than the other. And then look at the size of this die. It's like the size of, a, you know, the front of a whole card. Really, really pretty. And then if you wanted to, you could stick this one inside of this one and make a frame. Isn't that great? And then, of course, you have the dies that create the... I don't know if that would be aloe or snake plant or something. And then this little detail die creates... Oh, where did I see that? On the next page? Yeah, it's on the next page. So you can see the detail here. With this little little die and just the, the detail is so so pretty and then I love the sentiments you are what sunshine feels like really sweet sending warm rays your way could have used that a couple of weeks ago in our ice storm then on this page we have like an animal designer series paper it's foil on one side and they're absolutely beautiful 
And then this kind and sincere uh, sentiment uh, bundle or sentiment stamp set. I just love it says these these are great. The big ones, which you don't we don't often get big ones like this. But it's like congratulations, like on your big news or thanks for being so kind. Um, thanks. And you're too generous. Like you can mix and match. It, it's just beautiful. So that's on page 45. And on this page, we have something for the dancer in your life, ballet beauty. I would have loved to have something like this when my daughter was dancing. Um, it's very, very cute. And then down here, we have the Vellum Basics Specialty Designer Series Paper. So we have one with leaves, one with polka dots, and one with stripes. And they will be part of the paper share as well. And then we have the decorative borders. And this is really cute. So you can use sections of it. You can combine it to make different um, elements. Really pretty. You can make it very plain or you can really jazz it up. And you know, keep in mind that the catalogs have tons of inspiration on the inside. There's so much that you can do just by copying everything in the catalog and you'll be busy. <laughs> There's lots to do. Now this stamp set is a was designed by Erica Serwin or inspired by Erica Serwin, who is she became a million dollar achiever last year. And so she chose taco fiesta. So there's tacos, there's a little pinata, some guacamole, all kinds of neat things. It's very cute. Look at this guy. Very, very cute. And then on this page, we have the sweet citrus bundle. And this has a hybrid um, embossing folder. And so what that means is there's a die that actually sits inside the embossing folder. And when you run it through uh, the cutting machine, it will cut and emboss at the same time. So that's pretty nifty. So you would cut out your orange and your, your two pieces of orange and they will have emboss detail as well as color. Isn't that neat? And then on this side, we have the Rain or Shine. Now this Rain or Shine uh, suite is stinking adorable. Um, the paper, which I actually kept out to show you, has, uh, what do they call it? Like a UV coating on it. And it's shimmery. It's shimmery, but it's like shiny, like nylon almost. Isn't that nifty? I love that. And so all of them, each each one has like a shiny side and, and a non-shiny side. And this is part of the paper share as well, obviously. But look at how stinking cute. Look at this guy. Isn't he adorable? Ugh. And more raindrops. I love this. And then these guys. Oh my goodness. Look at... <laughs> He just seems so happy-go-lucky and so fun. So that's this paper, the Rain or Shine paper. And it's 12 by 12. And you get two sheets each of six double-sided designs. And I've added that to the paper share. And then we have these little um, loose daisy embellishments. And these are them here. Let me see if I can. Yeah. Aren't they cute? They're just little individual little flowers. They're not, they don't have a sticky at other side or anything like that. You just, you can either glue them to a card or you can, I, I did some shaker cards for a swap that I was doing for the new catalog and I put some of these in the um, in the shaker part and this is very cute it's got a kite and of course the bunny it'll cut out the bunny the turtle and the fox and um, so so cute and then an embossing folder with raindrops on it then we have the Easter Bunny and the Easter Bunny can be uh, bundled with the punch the bunny punch and that's for this guy I just think that's so cute. So what they've done here is they've just stamped 
this little grass all the way along and then just fussy cut across the top and did layers and then stuck the carrots inside behind each layer. It was pretty clever, very cute. So like I say, there's tons of inspiration. And then it looks like this paper behind is from the Rain or Shine uh, designer series paper. Yep, they've used this paper behind this Easter Bunny. So cute. And then on this side we have happy labels. And the sentiments are great. You've got the biggest heart. I'm so happy you were born. You're going to be amazing parents, which is great if you have new little ones coming. And then the Happy Labels Bundle, it's, it's called a pick a punch. So you have three different sizes of two different kinds of punch. And so you can do one that looks like a ticket stub or you can do one that is scallop. These are brilliant because they go from uh, half an inch, three quarters of an inch, and then one inch. So you can vary the different sizes of your uh, little labels that you're doing. And then on this side, we have a religious rejoice in him for Easter. And it's wishing you love, joy and love this Easter. There's a little dove. He is risen. Celebrate his love. And then some palm fronds. And then peace be unto you. Isn't that beautiful? Really nice. And then over here, we have the dainty delight bundle. And I love this. This is so pretty and just so delicate. And then all of the the um, dies. This white sprig die is just beautiful. And I've used that on a couple of cards already um, for my January birthdays and uh, just love that. And then over here we have occasionally funny. And these are just sentiments. Here's cheers to more years of asking your spouse, what's the password again? Congratulations on the new reason you have to wake up every morning or in the morning, and then every single morning. And I, this makes me laugh because my daughter has two little ones. One's three and one's one and a half. And she did a little quick video one morning of things that my granddaughter was doing. And then underneath it, this is exactly what she wrote. Every period, single period, morning period. Because <laughs> my granddaughter has her little rituals that she has to do. At, she was two years old at the time, and it was just so funny. And then we have the ginkgo branch bundle which I just love ginkgo and on this card what they've done is they've taken three uh, rectangles tone on tone it looks like crumb cake and they've run them through the cane uh, embossing folder and then just cut out some of the ginkgo and stuck them on there and then you have one little label die for the longer sentiments as well as obviously the flower uh, dies so that's a very pretty one. This is a great one with sympathy, sending hope and peace, thinking of you. So this would be a great sympathy one. And then over here we have enjoy the journey. And there's a whole suite that you see. You can purchase everything on here for one price and you, you get the 10% discount um, bundle price. And then over here we have the greatest journey stamps with some wildflowers and some trees and leaves and things. And then you can also cut out and create a tent. Like if you wanted to do like a, an outdoors theme thing, there's a tent here. And then the guy with the lantern, they've done here in a darker, almost it looks metallic to me. And then um, same guy, but holding a walking stick over here. And then these papers on one side, they have a landscape kind of thing like different landscapes. And then on the opposite side, they have just uh, colored designs, whether it's stripes or zigzags or whatever. And then these are enamel sticker icons. And it doesn't say, oh, three quarters of an inch. I wondered how big they were. So they're three quarters of an inch and they're black and white. And so here's a little uh, fire, uh, campfire one. And then over here, there's a couple of arrows. They're very, a cute idea. Very cute idea. And then, of course, the three twine combo pack, which is fabulous. I love the colors in there. You have pumpkin pie, garden green, and coastal cabana. It's very, very good. So next we have beautiful thistle. And um, I have a love-hate relationship with thistle. I, it's a beautiful flower. And I just, I love the way they look. 
However, they're a pain in the rear to get rid of and because they're a weed, obviously. And what I didn't realize for the longest time is I was feeding the little birds um, niger seed, which guess what? It's thistle. And I couldn't figure out why my garden was so full of thistle. Well, the birds get in there and they scatter the seeds all over the place. And next thing you know, you have a garden full of thistles. So <laughs> um, if you don't want thistle, don't feed them niger seeds. Get something else. So um, anyway, it's a beautiful stamp. And again, I think thistles are beautiful until they spread all over your yard. And then you have to pick them out and get all the little picky things in your fingers. But this is really, really pretty. And I like the font in here. There is something beautiful in every day. I think I really like that. <clears throat> and over here we have a watercolor world and that's a distinctive ink and you can see by the texture that you get in the world map. It's all different shades. So it's gonna stamp out like that as well. So over here we have the alphabet Alamo dies and this is the actual size. So they're um, not quite an inch wide, 15 sixteenths of an inch wide and just over one and a half inches tall. So that's the, the actual size there. You can see how big they are based on, on the um, stamp uh, card front. Now over here we have the best family ever. And what I like about this one is that it's got mom spelt with a U and it's got mom spelt with an O. So that's great. Like I'm Canadian, so I say mom, but my girlfriend's mother was British and they say she writes it with a U all the time. And um, I, I just think that's brilliant. And now they have great. So if you're a great grandma, if you have great grandma or um, brother-in-law. Yeah, so I think it's great that they've included all of all of these. And then the loveliest layers um, decorative masks. These are stencils. And so what they have now is a two-step flower stencil and a two-step leaf stencil so that's really great and then obvious and then this brick type stencil and here in this card what they've done is they've taken the white embossing paste and they've used it just with this stencil on the on a card front and then used um, the blending brushes to put some I don't know it looks like pool party and mint macaron and maybe some pale papaya and I don't know, whatever they put in there, but it's really pretty. And then over here we have the brushed bouquet bundle. And that is a two-step flower as well. A lot of two-step stamps this time, which I love. And the dies are for the floral, mostly for the florals and the leaves. So anything that's white here is a is a die. And then they have a couple of extras as well. Over here we have picturesque and this is kind of like a landscape type um, stamp that's just um, silhouettes mostly I think and then you can see here they've done it with the stamp set but they've cut it out with the with the um, desert dies that's very cute really cute and then here you can see they've incorporated the little enamel button from the journey uh, stamp or the journey bundle really cute over here we have flame framed florets and um, we were fortunate enough to be able to pre-purchase this and then it was available to purchase during the month of December now unfortunately any of the paper and other things that came with uh, this bundle uh, during the month of December are no longer available but you can certainly still get the stamps and the dies and um, the dies are extremely versatile this one just cuts out little hearts in a circle or in an oval and then this one cuts out an oval and then an oval frame with little um, lines in it and then this one is more decorative and cuts out the middle circle as well very cute. Over here we have Warm Welcome, the Warm Welcome Bundle. And I actually made a shaker card out of the Warm Welcome Bundle. I used this door 
and then I made the door into a shaker card. Yeah, isn't that cute? So you can uh, cut out the door and then cut a hole in the door like I did on this one using the inner door die. And then there's also a die that will cut out this part, like around the door. And there's a little hand holding flowers, two coffee mugs. This little kitty is in here. Aren't these cute? And then what I used inside of the shaker card is the For Everything Fancy sequins from the annual catalog. And you get three little containers of sequins, green, blue, and pink. And there's not only sequins in there, there's little like hexagons, little shiny mirror hexagons, little gems, lots of little things in there. So that's a very cute uh, bundle. And then on this side we have Best Day. And I mean, what the heck is cuter than a cat and a cupcake? Not too many things. <laughs> that was just adorable. And um, you can see here that they've um, just stamped the cake in black memento and then just use their blending brushes to add color to the um, to the top of the cake and then use the little spriggy things here to make a background that is so so cute and then also in this catalog there's some new blending brushes they're a little bit smaller than the original blending brushes and there's also a storage uh, organizer so I can't wait I've ordered one and I can't wait to see um, what it's like when it comes so I'm excited about that. And then on this page, we have Ready to Ride, and that's a sweet collection. So you can buy the entire kit and caboodle for one, one price, or you can buy each thing individually. And tons of inspiration on this page. Holy smokes, look at that. And then this amazing embossing folder. It's called the Metal Plate 3D Embossing Folder. And you can make it motorcycles, and it's Dad, you're the coolest. My son is into dirt biking, so this is like right up his alley. And then you have this um, specialty designer series paper with um, black foil on one side, and then it's matte on the other side. And then you can see here what they've done is take some of uh, probably this paper and cut out some of the closing and layered it clothing closing clothing and layered it to create uh, a card here for someone who bikes that's very cool and then you have the embellishments here the adhesive back studs and those are really cool too over here we have on the ocean so we have the bundle and you can create like a pirate ship that's very fun and uh these are cling stamps, so this one is red rubber. And over here we have Beside Me. And this is a great card with showing a dad with the kids. And I, I just love that. I think that's really nice. And then if you need different skin tones, um, you can check out the Natural Tones Stampin' Blends on the annual catalog on page 128. And there is, I forget how many different ones. I think there's... Mm, I'm going to say eight. I'm not sure, to be honest. But there's different shades of skin tone, everything from the palest to the darkest. So you can certainly find a skin tone that works for you in there. And then over here we have Enjoy the Rhythm. And you got a set of drums, um, <laughs> treble maker, that's cute, and a uh, keyboard and some music notes and a guitar. And you can see this card was made by using the picture this dies. And then on page 73, they have uh, enjoy the adventure memories and more card packs. So this would be, um, they're three by four inch double-sided cards that you can use for scrapbooking or to put on the front of a greeting card. And then you also have the uh, envelopes and more, envelopes and cards, uh, memories and more. And you can put, combine the two of them to make, different kinds of cards. Everything is pre-stamped and all you have to do is maybe pop in a sentiment or handwrite something in there. And that's, those are really fun. 
And then don't forget to, you know, the new little catalogs are great, but the annual catalog is still around until April. And um, there's tons of really good stuff in there. And a lot of it will coordinate with what's in the newer catalogs as well. And then once you get to page 76, you can have a quick peek at all of the different bundles. And you can just go through and see what coordinates with one. Uh, what stamp sets coordinate with what die sets. And again, this year, thank goodness, the dies and the, and the bundles and the stamp sets are all named the same thing. So that's great. And then if you want a quick glance at what the different um, stamp sets are, that starts on page 84. And then you have your dies just by themselves, not as the bundle. And then, you know, there's the hybrid uh, embossing folder die set and then all the different die sets that are in the catalog. And then we have our punches at the top here on page 86, all the different designer series papers. And then we have our embossing folders up here and some tools, and then our embellishments are here on page 87. And then um, just some ideas if you wanted to host uh, some ladies at your home and um, create like a, a crafting day and invite me over or another you know wherever you live uh, a demonstrator in your in your area um, you know if you host and you have sales of over two hundred dollars you will earn free product so that's a bonus and then if you want to join Stampin' Up! and become a demonstrator just for, the, you can do it just for the discount. You don't have to do it to do videos and classes like I do. When I first started, I actually did it just for the discount. And you immediately, upon signing up, after your starter kit, you get 20% off everything you buy. And, and you also get to pre-order a month ahead of everybody else at your 20% discount. And if something's on sale, then you get the sale price plus 20% discount. It's a win-win. Anyway, so if you have any thoughts about joining and you live in Canada, I'd be more than happy to um, give you any information that you need about that. And then if you do host a party as a hostess, um, you, or even if you put in a, your own personal purchase is over $200, you get to purchase the Flowers and More designer series paper for $25. Uh, but only a host can do that. Or if your order is over $200, you automatically become your own host. And then that's a $42 value and you get to purchase it for uh, $25. And, and it's a lot of paper. You get 48 sheets. You get 12 um, double-sided for each of 12 double-sided designs. So that's a lot of paper and it's 12 by 12. So that's a ton of paper. And then you can also purchase the At the Pond Little Frog set for $19.50, and it would be $33 if it was in the catalog, but only a host can actually order that. So that's the catalog. And then I'm just going to quickly go through the celebration because everything in this brochure is free. Okay, so let's go through here. And the first thing in here is the Adorable Owls. And these are free with a $60 purchase. And I can tell you, I've used these so much already. They're just stinking adorable. And um, yeah, free for a $60 purchase. How easy is it to put it in a $60 order? Let me tell you, it's pretty easy. And then also there's the Thanks a Bunch carrots, which are also free for $60. And I, you know, I thought carrots don't really turn my crank, but... There's so much you can do with these. Um, I saw on a demonstrator site yesterday that a lady had them inverted and she has them as trees on a back. She created like a, a wood, woodsy type background and, and did them in green in their trees. <laughs> it's really cute. So just imagination is the limit, right? So these are free with a $60 order. Oops. And then on the next page, we have dainty flowers. And this is a beautiful um, uh, paper set. The There's so many florals, and then you have this, this one here. And I wish I had them with me, and I don't. But the 
flowers come from both ends and then the inside is clear so that you can cut them in half at six inches and then divide them into four by six pieces and you'll have six card fronts um, that look like this basically that what they've done here is they've gone over it with a bit of green uh, ink because that would be a white background if you look over here it's a white background so you would have six card fronts that look like this really really pretty and then the back side of them are beautiful you have all of these are the backs of the different colors of uh, the different papers and these are free also with a $60 purchase and then we have the day at the farm which I showed you coordinates with the farm uh, stamp set the on the farm bundle and then over here we have a sentiment set called Sending Support, and that's also free with a $60 purchase. And some of the sentiments are, there are so many ways you might feel right now. So, I mean, if somebody's feeling poorly or somebody has, you know, just suffered a loss or something, um, these sentiments will just resonate with them. It says, sending love, th loving thoughts and prayers. Hope today is one of the easier ones. Some days are harder than others. Shouldn't be alone. Shouldn't be one of them. Uh, here for you always. And then it says, "Good luck." It's okay to not feel okay. You've got this. My shoulder is yours. Courage is really being scared and doing it anyway. So these are great. Next, we get to the favored flowers designer series paper. And they coordinate with the Fragrant Flowers Bundle that was in the mini catalog on page 21. On the next page, we have In the Country, and these are great for doing watercolor. And if you look on here, you can see somebody has um, done them with watercolor pencils and the blender pens. And this one, it looks like it was embossed with gold um, embossing powder on that one. And then on this side, we have Beautifully Happy. I've used this one quite a bit. Um, I was fortunate enough to get this one free when I was at the on stage in Montreal in November. And I mean, look at this. All they've done is stamp the thank you several times on a piece of paper and then cut it out with a circular uh, die and pop a flower on it. Actually, you would pop the flower on it first and then cover it with masking paper and then stamp around it so that you're not actually stamping through the flower. But isn't that cute? Very cute. And this is free with a $120 purchase. And then next we have the Dandy Designs paper. And that is free with a $120 purchase. And the Dandy paper, I actually have that right handy. Um, I've used so much for this paper already. And I, I've, I've actually, with my new um, paper share order, got another package because I'm using it all up. But look at the papers. Aren't they just so bright and happy? I love these and I did my calendar swaps with these papers so this is my January swap with my team they're each getting a calendar and actually I did a video I think on Friday a couple of days ago um, on how to make these two different types of calendar one of them is well this one just stands up by itself as so does this one but it's One's vertical, one's horizontal. And then I have this one that is like an easel card with a little notepad on it. Isn't that cute? And actually this notepad belongs on here. I guess it fell off. There. So I just used some post-it notes and made this little there. But that these are the dandy designs. Um, paper and you can see all the different backgrounds and this is using the um, treat what's it called the treat yeah so these are the cracker and treat box that's in the annual catalog on page 170 so these are these are cute little things you can put little toys in there for Easter for the kids or little candies or whatever you wanted to put in there and this paper look at how beautiful they are free with a hundred and twenty dollar purchase and then if you wanted to host a get-together with some of your friends um, and you're 
purchases are over $200, you automatically will get this uh, scenic garden for free. It just shows up on your order when we put your order in. And you can watercolor it, you can do tone on tone, you can, you can do all kinds of things with it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then the last page of the celebration shows this joining option. If you wanted to join Stampin' Up! during um, celebration, you have the option to get one of these limited edition little Stampin' Emboss machines. Now this, this one is in boho blue and that is a very limited edition. It's only available during January and February. And you can only get one if you join Stampin' Up! during either January or February. And so the two, two joined options with the mini Stampin' Up! Uh, cut and emboss machine is you can either choose the blue one or the white one. And so you would get the um, mini cutting machine plus $225 worth of Stampin' Up! product of your choice. You don't have to choose what they want to give you. If you already have a bunch of Stampin' Up! stuff, you can choose anything that you don't have um, as part of your uh, starter kit. And so you get the machine, $225 worth of uh, Stampin' Up! products for $175. Like, what the heck? That is amazing. So options one and two, it's either the blue one or the white one. And then option three is you don't have to have a machine at all. You can just choose $225 worth of Stampin' Up! product for $135. That's amazing. That's $90 of free product. So um, if you're interested in that, I'd be more than happy to have you join my team if you live in Canada. And you can email me at crittersandink at gmail.com or I will have a link below in the description to join my team. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, whether it's about the catalog, whether it's about receiving a catalog in the mail, or if you'd like to join Stampin' Up! Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I'd love to have you as part of my watching crew. And if you have subscribed, please hit the like button and feel free to share. Thanks so much. Have a great afternoon and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.